As before the war, the sheep are brought back to their pens for the night. But the fields in which they grazed are no more. The Israeli tanks and soldiers have scarred the earth, leaving behind scenes that echo a great war nearly a century ago. And as the smoke still stains the sky, some here are left with little faith in the unity talks between Palestinians across the Gaza border in Cairo. I'm very pessimistic. Even if Hamas and Fatah do agree on unity, Israel will never want peace. Even if the leaders do make a deal, it will not achieve anything. But others, like Khala Daboesi, see the reconciliation talks as critical to repairing the ruin. The olive trees his father planted three decades ago were uprooted in a matter of minutes. And if there's no agreement, he says, the suffering he and other Palestinians have endured was for nothing. Let me give a message to all the leaders in Cairo. There must be unity. There were no differences between Fatah and Hamas when facing Israel. If there is no unity now, it means we will be the losers here. Nobody will be able to help us rebuild our homes and replant our gardens and olives. Saab Fajala returned home three days ago to discover the Israelis had left behind only charred bodies of her 10 sheep and 50 chickens. Her family of nine left with no livelihood. The only animal she possessed left alive, the cat. If God is willing, I wish they will achieve something in Cairo. And then it will depend on all the leaders whether they have it in their hearts to help us. A white dove is partially concealed by birds of different color perching next to a position occupied by Israeli snipers in recent days. Amidst these ruins, there's still the strong hope that unity can be achieved. But among those living here, an unanswered question. Regardless of what happens in Cairo, they ask, if this can be done with impunity once, what is to stop Israel from doing it again? Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Jorah Gaza.